Hey Facebook, what's going on? I just made it back to the office and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to talk about a topic. It's called Growing Your Ability. Give me one second. Let me take this jacket off and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. How's everyone doing today? Good, good, good. All right, so today is a topic. I want to bring some clarity. All right, let me back up just a little. Bit. Feels a little too close. <laughs> I want to bring. I want to bring some, some, um, some insight in helping people get to one level into their life. And today, I want to clarify some things because I counseled a couple of people yesterday, and they were under the impression of dreaming. <laughs> and so I helped them, and I want to help you. Um, hey Mary, how you doing? Um, so I want to help you guys. And so let's get right into this. Okay. All right. So let's talk about, let's say you have a dream, a vision or a gift. Okay. So that to me, that's the very first thing that you have to have in no matter what you do in your life. If you don't have a dream or vision, or if you don't have something forward into where you're at right now, you just lost and <laughs> we don't want to be lost. Right. All right. So you have you have a vision, a dream and gift. OK, then there comes an opportunity and then there comes goals, which conversion into money. The ability I want to I want to really clarify this to you and I really want everyone to pay attention. You have the dream, the vision and the gift. And then let me let me let me go over here and show you is that sorry about that spin let me go over here and show you what i'm talking about okay this is my this is my my vision my goal this house over here estimating cost plus or minus uh uh half to a million dollars this one right here this house right here this one here is in the woods that one's in the ocean this one here really over a million dollars okay now here here's and the reason i'm not boasting I'm not boasting. This is what I want to say to you. Let me go back. <clears throat> okay. My ability. If my ability is a number four, which conversion into about a half a million dollars a year, right? No matter what my dream is, no matter what my vision is, my vision board say and anything like that, if my ability is a number three or four and I'm making a, a 50,000, 45, 50,000 a year, the opportunity that's going to come to me is at that range. That opportunity is going to be at that range. The goals and the conversion of the money it's going to be at that range. So this is really what I want everyone to see. That when it comes to your vision and your dreams, if you put a million dollar house, a million dollar watch, a half a million dollar car on your vision board, or if in your, even if it's in your mind, but your ability is only to make 45, 50,000 a year, you're not going to get it because your ability to get it is and the opportunity for you to get it is not there. And so therefore, what happens in people when they have a vision and, and all of this and they get the opportunity, but they can't handle the opportunity, which means they won't get their goal. They get frustrated and then they quit and they blame God and they blame themselves. They blame other people. Start with the damn blaming. Sorry. Um, and then just understand this simple concept. You have to address your ability from one level to the next level. You have to get from a three or four to around about seven or eight. Let me go convert this so you can see it straight. You have to get from a three or four. Right. This is your currency yearly. You have to get from there to here, which it gets to here, which then your opportunity will grow, which then the goals will grow. And if my ability grows and my goals grow, then guess what? Then I will be able to afford 
this vision board. Okay, so now let's talk about, now you understand the concept, let's talk about how to grow your ability. Okay, ability. How to grow your ability. It's in two parts, A and B. The first part is you have your vision and, and dream. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. It doesn't matter if you're a three or four. If you don't believe that you can achieve this or achieve the goal, if you don't believe you can achieve it, it's never going to happen. So your ability has to start off with the belief system that you believe in yourself. Second, B, going to the next one level to the next level, you got to go through hell. So not only do you have to believe in yourself, you also have to go through hell. Okay, and let me let me define this right quick so, so we can all get on the same uh, plane here. So we're going to start. I'm a number three. I'm going to start with my vision and dream. The first thing I need is I need to believe in myself. The mind, that's the line. It's not real. It's a dream world. <clears throat> Let me pause right quick to, to explain something. Okay, that's my vision board over there. Me thinking about it, and that vision board is a straight line. That straight line is not helping me, and it's not real. Me, from where I'm at here, to go over there and get and bring that to life is not real. It's, it's a dream world. So... When you watch the movie, The Secret and all of that, it, it sounds good in, in, in context. It's not real. It's only a dream. To get to the next level, you got to go through hell. This is, you know, let me convert this around. You got to go through hell. As you already know, as I know, you already know, you got to go to the next level. To get to the next level, you got to go through disappointments. You got to go through good times, bad times. You got to go through loss. You got to go through people who don't believe in you. You believe in you, but they don't believe in you. You got to get rid of the people who from a, a three or four don't want to go to the next level. They, they're they very comfortable with a three and four position. And you got to break away from them and so on and so forth. And then what happens is, let me go back. What happens is reality hits, life hits, and you just got from a three to a five in time in two years. Which is not something to say you can't, you shouldn't do because you believed in it. You went through the hell and the hell from a three to a five in two years got you from a three, 45, 50,000 to a number five, let's say 60,000 a year. 60,000 a year gives you new 60,000 a year opportunity. 60,000 a year opportunity gives you 60,000 plus goals, accomplishing goals. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the concept that I really want you guys to understand how to raise your ability is you have to start believing in yourself in the vision, right? The dream, the vision, the gifts. If you start believing in self and then realize I'm going to go through some things because not everyone in my life, in my surroundings, in my environment they want the same that I want. And I have to make that sacrifice. Okay? You're going to go through here. You got to believe. And you got to go through it to get from one level to the next. That's how you get to one level. And the time. You have to give it time. All right. Let me give you some tools and how to make this process a little easier. Okay? A little easier. Okay. First tool. I want you to take this vision, uh, this vision, this vision, right? Take that vision. And I want you, don't think about, don't think about that vision board over there. I don't want you to think about, sorry about the turn. Don't think about, I want you to think about the worst case scenario. I want you to place your mind. Don't think about the goal. Think about worst case scenario. Okay. This is why the mind. It's basic, straight line, it's a dream. Reality hits, it's hard. But if you put your mind in the worst case scenario, that worst case scenario is higher in your mindset 
So when reality actually starts, see, I'm, I'm already thinking worse than what happens. It hits. It didn't get as high. It didn't get as worse as I thought it would. And so therefore, it makes it a little easier uh, to deal with problems. The reason people quit from a three to the next is because they can't handle the sacrifice, the problems that, that is in existence. All right, so that's step number one. Go here. Step number one, the vision, worst case scenario. Number two, over communicate. You have to close people and new people. So let me talk about that. If, if I was married, I'm not, I'm just saying for some of you who are married, I, and, and you're trying to get from a three to a five, right? You're trying to do your thing. Okay, go to them and say, honey, you know I'm making them uh, 40, 50,000. We, I want us to start making close to around 60 to a half a million a year. Uh, this is what I wanna do not tell them the end result. Don't do that. Don't give them your dream. Give them your worst case scenario. Over communicate to your close people simply says this. Hey, honey, uh, I want to start this business. Uh, you know, I've been talking about this for a while, but I want you to know it is a possibility that we might lose all our money. It is a possibility that we may lose this house. It is a possibility that I won't be home. So the kids might hate me. You might feel a little lonely, but at the end of the rainbow, if this works out and none of that happens, we'll have a good time. But if it does happen, I just want you to be ready and prepared. What do you say? Can we do this? Some mates might say no, because why? They're here. They don't want to go there. They just, they're very comfortable here. The question is, do you want to go? there do you want to go from a three to a five and then reality right reality what are you willing to sacrifice to better yourself now again some mates may not some mates be like i got you don't go do your thing just depends on your mate right so new oh let me turn this around for you new people over communicate new people. If I'm a three and I'm trying, oh, sorry, three and I'm trying to get to a five, I have to find people who are, who is a eight, nine, ten, and I have to communicate with them all of the time, almost bugging to the point because I want them to teach me what I need, which gives me to number three, three point. Uh, let me go back. I need to be a student. So when it comes to over communicating to new people from a three to a uh, master, let me just use this student to a master, but I want to be a three to a five. I need to become a student underneath the nine master and become the master. And until I become a master, shut up. Do not say what you're doing. You're not an entrepreneur. You're not nothing. You're a student. You're a three. Even if you get to a number five, look, even if you get to a number five, the only person you can teach is a one or two, which I don't think you would even know a one or two. So if you start off as a number three, be a student, shut your mouth, just handle your business, become a master. When you become a master, then you have to teach, give back. You as a master then can give back to a number three. Does that make sense? Special note, to grow your ability is grow to mastery, to master your whatever it is. Okay. So in context, you have a dream, a vision, a gift, and you, you want that, you want that, Ugh, vision board. <laughs> In order for you to get the opportunity to get to your vision board, you have to grow your ability. 
from a three to a whatever. If you don't grow your ability, let me push you down. If you don't grow to your ability, then it's very simple. You're not going to achieve your goals. That vision board is only a dream if I don't get myself from a four to a seven, eight, nine position. Does that make sense? When I get to that seven, eight, or nine position, the opportunity then can come into my world, right? I can handle certain businesses, certain uh, opportunity, <laughs> and then hit my goal. My goal is that vision board. Okay. I believe in myself as I was at three, as I started off me real re reality, I literally started off as a one or two. In, in real life as 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 I was um, in poverty so bad but then I got into something I got into something I got into some the uh, the uh, opportunity came and little by little I was growing my ability how I believed in myself and I accepted the fact that I'm going to go through hell and then in time, grow higher and higher and higher now that i'm a seven eight nine ish kind of guy i'm giving back but then the opportunity and my goal setting is achievable does that make sense okay the hardship called going through hell i may want to go to a seven eight or nine as a single man it is hard to good date somebody who is a number four I'm not saying you're a four, I'm just saying, just in general. <laughs> and if you're a four, that's fine. The question is, are do you believe in yourself and are you willing to climb the ladder at the same time? So me and you, just talking it as an example, me and you can be equal. I'm not looking to be your leader, and I'm you know, I don't care if you hire than me, I'm that gives me opportunity to grow myself. Uh, so the point is, in relationships, you have to realize when you leave one level to the next, you may be alone for a while. This is why it's very common to say, uh, to be a leader, you're alone. It's, a, it's an alone position because not everyone wants what you want. Okay. Keep in mind, how do you know what your ability is? It's based off of your currency. And where did I get that ability and currency uh, position? It's actually biblical. Uh, I think Jesus talks about the parable. Look up five talents, two talents, one talent. Uh, if you want to go and research that out. Tools. Worst case scenario. Stop thinking about the dream. Think about worst case scenario. Work the problem. Work that. Over communicate to the people you like and love uh, and to new people. Be a student, learn to be a student, be a master, give back. It's Dr. Bagley. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good time. Mary, Lynn, and Erica. Uh, other than that, have a great day. Um, what day is this? <laughs> it's a rainy day. That's what day it is. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate in messaging me or email me or however that works. Other than that, I will sign off and get my day started. All right, guys. Bye-bye.